Let's talk the time value of money with an actual real life example. Maybe you've heard of time value of money, maybe you haven't, but let's break it down using a real life situation with real numbers. A little background, this came in through the website and this by no means is a sales pitch. Um, you know, this is just, I'm not saying either way is right or wrong. It just happened to come in and it got me to think of, oh, that's an interesting question. That's an interesting kind of, um, I don't, dilemma's not the right word, but just kind of a crossroads that this person has to determine what exactly would be best for them. So let's get to this and then we'll break down the numbers and kind of show how you could factor time, uh, the time value of money into, you know, not necessarily trading, but just anything in general. So I won't read the whole thing, but starting the second paragraph there, I've been listening to your guys' podcast for almost a month now. I told Ches this, and I would love your advice on it as well. Here is where I am at. In my current budget, it will not be another five months until I can buy the course in full through my sinking fund. However, I could do the 377 per month. I understand overall that makes Clay Trader University $262 more. However, personally, I would love to start my education now. What are your thoughts, Clay, skipping to the very end? First, let's start with kind of value. Value can take more than just a monetary you know, number. It can, can take many forms, you know, just uh, you know, with experience. Sometimes it is kind of actual numbers. So it is hard to assign the true value of something and what you know, one choice can lead to in terms of an, another choice when you compare value. But at the end of the day, what essentially is going on and what uh, you know, using these numbers somebody would have to ask themselves is the key number here being five months, right? If this person chooses one route, it will be five months until some, you know, something else can occur. And in this case, you know, education. They want to start to learn. They want to make an investment into their education. Again, this is not a sales pitch for my stuff. If you want to apply this to somebody else's stuff that you're maybe considering because you like their teaching style better than mine, hey, that's totally cool. I commend you for wanting to invest into your education. So again, not a sales pitch, but in this case, five months, and if they choose option A, you know, then education is gonna have to wait and they're gonna just be kind of sitting there for five months. Or they can choose something else. Let me change up the color. And we'll just call this kind of the now choice. And now leads to, well, they can start now, but it will cost them $262 more to start now. So what's kind of going on here with the numbers? Well, really the easiest way to kind of look at that is what is that going to cost them per month to start now? And let me pull up the calculator here. So 262 divided by five, there we go. $52.40, let's just call it 53. That cost is going to be $53 a month. So the big question that this all leads to is $53 worth it? Is there value in being able to start now, although it is gonna cost $53? So you can kinda, of let, let's bring this maybe to personal finance. What, what could be bit, you know, paid $53? Well, I don't know. I mean, Netflix, Hulu, coffee. There's lots of things within a budget that could quickly overcompensate that $53 and right there, you could actually pay for the ability to what? To start now. No, I'm not, but again, I'm not saying this is what you have to do. I'm not saying this is a smart thing. I'm saying this is how you kind of have to weigh the value of money. Because sure, you are losing money. You are paying $53 per month for each of these five months. But you could also say, well, that, that's given that the knowledge that I can gain starting now rather than pushing things off, yeah, I think that knowledge in the long run will easily overcompensate 53, then you know what, maybe it is worth it to you. I don't know how you value your time, I don't know how you value uh, you know, your money, but this is how kind of the math breaks down and the questions you should be asking yourself in terms of, should I do A, should I do B, how does time factor in? No, I mean, let's say this. Let's change this number. to. I don't know, two weeks. Do you need a, is, is you know, spending 260, 262 more to just hold off for two weeks? No, I think that's, 
I mean, just hold off. You're, you're literally, if you can just wait for two weeks, you're gonna be putting 262 into your pocket, penny saved as a penny earned. So in that situation, I'd say the time value of money, I mean, it's only two weeks of time. And if that means you're saving that amount of money, go for it. But five months, I mean, we could take this, what happens if that would be eight months? I mean, now the numbers get even more where it's like, okay, as I wait and wait and wait, is it really worth paying? And I'll let's just do the eight months real quick on the, on the calculator. So 262 divided by eight. In that case, it's $33 per month. Is paying $33 a month to be able to start your journey of education now or start your journey of fill in the blank worth it? I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It could definitely become a lot more worth it if like, all right, do I really need to go to Starbucks and get the frate latte, bada bada bate every, every, you know, every other day? Maybe it isn't. If by sacrificing that, not only are you like saving yourself a lot of calories from a health perspective, but you're also saving yourself money and maybe making the time value of money worth it for that. So I mean, that's just the way I would approach it. He asked for my thoughts, I gave uh, the thoughts, and uh, he actually did decide to just do the payment method so he could start now. And um, he is definitely very um, happy with it. He hangs out in the chat room quite a bit, so I can attest to that. And sure, he's paying $53 or more a month, uh, but when you're well-armed with knowledge, when you're well-armed as a trader, um, you know, I'm not, I'll never say anything as easy, but 262 is not exactly like a huge amount that is gonna be difficult to overcome, assuming you have you know, a logical strategy and a logical approach to a market, which is what he's learning about right now. So time value of money, that's kinda of how it factors into the real world. No right or wrong reason, or no, no right or wrong answer, but you know, there's a lot of kind of reasoning that can go into it, and this is essentially the backbone of that reasoning. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community and let me know if you have any questions.